Hey guys, it's Aaron. Today I want to talk about making a gradient natively inside of SketchUp. So inside of SketchUp, you have access to basic colors you can paint onto things. And then you have uh, other files, materials, images that you can import and use as textures with the paint bucket. Um, what there's not a native tool for is gradients. I can't just real quickly and easily say, just make a gradient over here. Uh, but with just a teeny bit of work inside of SketchUp, you can create gradients without having to use a photo editing program. Let me show you how. Now, full credit where credit is due, this is a trick that was uh, not necessarily uh, not shown to me for the first time, but reminded to me, reminded to me, uh, from Tyson during one of our live streams just recently. He actually pulled this out as he was modeling, and uh, I remember, man, this is, this is a great way to do it. This is a real easy way to get gradients into your model. So I have this block right here and I have this bright yellow on here and what I'm saying I need in this is like more of a, a gradient. So I want it to go from a darker yellow up to a bright yellow up here. That's what I'm actually looking for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here on the side. I'm just gonna keep my colors window open over here because I'm gonna use it again a couple times here in the future. And I'm gonna draw a rectangle on the ground. Um, size, to be honest, really is not very important because as I, I do this, I, I'm going to zoom in and it's just going to be an image. So geometry really doesn't matter that much. I'm going to draw an arc on here. I'll pull like that and I'll pull it back like this. Now, what can make a difference if, if you're, depending on how conscious you are of this, is how many pieces are in the arc. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to cut it like this, pull it down, and then we're going to work with this curved surface. Um, because it's smoothed, even though it's only a 12-sided arc, it looks pretty smooth in here. I can't really see any hard uh, steps in the gradient, but depending on, again, what your default or what you draw in here for an arc or uh, how smooth that is, you may see some increment or increments there. So you may want to do something like maybe we'll do a 24-sided arc or a 48-sided arc just to get that geometry a little bit smoother when you drop that down. All right, so there we go. So what we're looking for is, see as I'm just, just rotating this back and forth, see that shadow coming in from one side? We're gonna take advantage of that happening uh, with uh, a color on here. So I'm just gonna, without further ado, I'm just gonna go to my paint bucket and drop that yellow color right on here. Now we can, we can close colors for now. So what I wanna do is I wanna get it darker on one side and have it smooth come up to the full yellow on the other side. Just normally like spinning it back and forth, I get a little bit of that just with the natural shadows that uh, SketchUp casts. When, by default, when I come in and I start looking at surfaces inside of SketchUp, the light that is lighting the model is actually the camera. So wherever I'm looking at is where the light is coming in from. So as I turn around here, the darker piece is getting cast right here because the light from my camera is casting a shadow from this chunk over here. That's nice, but it makes it kind of difficult to deal with in a situation like this. So one of the things I wanna do immediately is go up to shadow settings. I'm gonna expand shadow settings. And if you don't have this window open, you can open it Windows. It's part of the default tab on toolbar. It's part of the default tab on Windows, pardon me. And then uh, turn on use sun for shading. What this does is this makes consistent shading no matter where I turn the camera. See that? So here, this is light, this is dark, doesn't matter how close I get to it, how much I spin it, it's gonna stay that same thing. So that's great as we're trying to create a gradient. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play with my time slider. You can see what, see what I'm going towards right here, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna get this so that it is half in dark, half in light. And then the other thing I'll play with is this light dark value. And this lets me kind of feather out that gradient as much as I want. Like what's the darkest dark gonna be? What's the lightest light gonna be? Where are they gonna meet? I can control that with these sliders. So once I get to the point where I'm like, oh yeah, that's pretty, actually this dark is kind of a too big a chunk here. I wanna, I wanna feather that out a little bit more. Um, there we go. I can play with that and get it exactly where I want it. The thing to do now is we're gonna screen capture this piece and then apply it as a texture. Now, depending on how I wanna apply this, 
I can be kind of fast and loose. I could come in here with a screen capture. On Mac, it's Command Shift 4. And that's going to give me the little, little crosshairs to, to pull it up. Uh, on Win, I think you can hit Print Screen or Alt Print Screen, or you may have some other clipping tool, something like that. So if, if I want, if I was pretty easy going about this, I could actually just come in and grab a rectangle like that, and maybe that's good enough. If I want to really make sure that this is tileable, so I could, it, it's going to line up as multiple pieces stack, I want to be a little more particular about where I put the camera. Specifically, I'm going to use the, the preset view to look at it straight on. So I'm looking at it one to one. The other thing I want to do is go to camera and set parallel projection. That's going to give me that perfect square. So I know now if I come in here and I grab my screen capture and I go like this, this gradient will perfectly tile vertically as I'm looking at it now, one to the next because it's going to line up. There we go. So there's the gradient I just created. And now that I'm done with that, I can go back to perspective camera and I can import that gradient on here. So I'm going to go to File, Import. I want to grab this image and use it as a texture. Import, and then I will just get it on here. And then once it's on there, now I can select texture, position. And like I was saying before, in this imaginary scenario, what I want to do is start at the bottom and work my way up. So I'll do something like that. And there we go. You can see how it's tiling right now. See how this one, two across? I don't have to distort it or anything like that because I went to that perspective view uh, or projected view. Uh, it perfectly tiles. So now I could actually pick that, apply it all the way around. Turn my sun for shading off. There we go. And now I have a simple gradient right there without going out to any other software and uh, just pulled it right off of SketchUp. So there's limitations here, of course. It is a light to dark of a single color. I can't do something like blue to green and have it transition through purple. It is that single color. It did take several minutes as I was doing because I was explaining everything. I did time it if I was just doing it on my own. Drop an arc, paint, perspective, grab it. And you can do it in less than a minute. It's, it is, for me on my computer, it's quicker than starting up Photoshop and uh, applying a gradient and exporting it. It was it was quicker than doing that process. Um, so if that's something you've ever looked at or wondered about before, it is a quick and easy process. Again, credit to, to uh, Tyson for showing that on one of our live streams. And uh, if you haven't tried it before, give it a shot. See what you think. Let us know. If you like the video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Have you tried this before? Do you have a tip on how to make it better or, or easier? Do you have a different workflow you'd like us to dive into? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.